What's going on people? It's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch. Got a slight sore throat. Guys, it's hot like a mofo out here. I ain't gonna lie to you. Real hot, real hot. But let's get down to it. Firstly, I want to talk about Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz 2. God damn. God damn. What a fight. What a fight. What an amazing fight. I've seen a shit ton of UFC fights, but god damn, there's one for the ages. I'm trying to decide whether I like this more than McDonald versus Lawler 2. I don't know. Both up there, both up there. Now, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'm not going to elaborate too much. Well, I'm going to try not to anyway. Epic, epic, epic fight. Did the right person win? Yes, the right person won. I know people have been debating this online, asking how. How did this happen? Robbery? It's not robbery at all. Both of them came out winners. Nate Diaz couldn't have lost in a better way. Dude laughing all the way to the bank. Conor McGregor be taking three million for this. Diaz be taking two million for this, right? And that's before all the pay-per-view points and what have you. They're both laughing all the way to the bank. I had Conor winning one, two, and four. The momentum shifted end of round two, particularly the last 40 seconds. So, so Conor McGregor knocked him out earlier on in that second round, right? Nate Diaz came back strong second round, especially the last 40 seconds, okay? But before that, it was pretty much all Conor McGregor, right? So you mean to tell me those last 40 seconds outweigh four minutes and change? I don't understand what you people are thinking. Diaz beat the shit out of him round three. Round five as well, it's definitely Nate's round. This fight was close was really close. Would it have been a huge outrage if Nick Diaz won? No. Fight was close as a mofo. I know they spoke to Connor's coach after the fact and he was like, he had it four to one McGregor? Maybe? No? Well, what, what an amazing improvement Connor made since the last fight. What an amazing improvement. And even Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is a tough mofo. Yeah, Connor's, Connor was running away from Nate Diaz. Yeah, he was running away from Nate Diaz. Yeah, he was tired. So let me ask you a question. If you're in a ring with Nate Diaz, right, and you can't fucking breathe because you are just spent, what are you going to do? You're going to stand there and say, come on, just knock me out now. Come on, man. You're going to do whatever it takes. I think I think a, a lot of the strategy, not similar, but I'll tell you what, when he was doing that, it reminded me of Condit versus uh, Nick Diaz. So a lot of people saying, oh, you know what, Conor running and everything, and my argument, like, like, did you see your boy? Did you see your boy, Nate Diaz, on the floor? Nate Diaz may have been hurt. He may not have been that hurt, but knockdown's a knockdown. Nate Diaz says this, and he right. When you're getting hurt, it's funny how strikers turn to wrestlers. But you know Nate Diaz was on the floor, and you know, you know he was trying to get Connor on the ground. Let's just keep it real. Why is that? Just asking. Side point anyway. My respect for Nate just shot up even more. I like the whole, I, I know people be saying it's corny, but the whole embrace at the end. Yeah, you go through a war with someone, there's going to be that kind of bond there. I'm glad that they shook hands, but you know it's going to be three. It's going to be at 155. This is the best thing. I think Conor McGregor should be fighting now at 155 because that's his natural weight. I don't think he should fight again at 170. Dude spent 300K on his training and everything and this is the best Conor McGregor we've seen. No question. He's in there with a 170, right? And it was still somewhat debatable. You know this Conor McGregor would have killed, like literally killed, like dead and buried, killed everyone in the featherweight division. Conor did everything right and it was still debatable. Think about it. God damn. Yeah, so I think 155 is the way to go. Anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Epic. Holler at your boy. Your boy out.